This is a demo for the resegmentation and ISOSeq analysis workflow supporting the Connex full-length RNA kit to be used in conjunction with the ISOSeq Express 2.0 kit in SmartLink 13.0 and up. So the Connex full-length RNA kit is an eightfold concatenation kit. To properly deconcatenate the HiFi reads, the segmentation adapter set would be the MOSSeq adapter V3, MOS8, is shown here. The cDNA primer set has been preloaded to contain the 12 barcoded cDNA primers from the ISOSeq Express 2.0 kit. The reference set is preloaded to HG38 with GenCode 39 annotations. The other preloaded reference set that comes with annotations in SmartLink is the mouse genome and annotation. So there are two options you can choose for cluster of barcoded samples, and we'll explain them a little bit here. The two options are cluster read separately or pool reads and cluster together. So if you select by default pool reads and cluster together, it means after identifying the full length reads and the barcodes associated with each cDNA primer, all of the read reads will be pulled together for isoform clustering, mapping, collapse, classification against the annotation, and then in one output file, it will show the per sample read counts. So here, you're getting one final isoform classification file, and then you will get the per sample information. We'll show you what that looks like in terms of file output. Now, if you choose to cluster read separately, then after identifying the full length reads for each cDNA barcode, all of the subsequent processes, isoform clustering, mapping, collapse, classification, filtering, those would all be done separately and be output in separate files. And then the isoform IDs, such as pb.x.y, those pb IDs will not be the same across different samples if you chose cluster reads separately. Okay, so let's take a look at um, I've chosen two toy examples and I've run them once with pool reads and cluster together and once with separately. So this is the pool reads result. So first you can see that I had subsampled uh, three different barcodes, each of about 700,000 reads each. Then when we look at clustering, we'll see it does show the um, per sample cluster results. And then it also shows the summary metrics, the number of genes before and after filtering. So this is pigeon filter, isoforms before and after filtering for each sample. And it also shows the pigeon, aka Sconti, isoform classifications, but jointly for the entire data set. Now, if we contrast with what this looks like when you say cluster read separately, when we get to the filtered results, so sorry, the summary results look the same, but if we look at the classification uh, post-filter categories, you'll notice that each sample actually has its own table, and that's because they've been processed separately to generate these tables. And then now if we go look at the data, the file downloads, so if we look at that, we notice that a lot of the pigeon output results show biosample one, two, and three, and that's because they were run completely separately. Now, if we go back to the data output for the pooled analysis, you'll notice everything says all samples, and that means pigeon was only run on a pooled result. If we now go and download this file that says unique map transcripts, filter classification text file. So let's open that up. This is the joint pigeon classification filter result. And you could see here are the PBIDs, the associated gene and transcripts. Then if we scroll down here, in this area, we can see that for each isoform, it shows the supporting full length read counts both in terms of raw counts, normalized by that sample, and also in log 10 for each of the samples. So that's the difference. If you run pooled, 
you'll get one final classification file and per sample counts in that file. If you run cluster reads separately, you're going to get one file of each for these and each of them will only list the per sample count for that sample. So that is the demo for read segmentation and ISO-seq workflow.